everybody, Phil here, and uh, today we're doing something a little different. Today we're doing the first in what will be a series of upcoming videos, once a month, at least for a six month trial run, uh, of Loot Crate unboxings. And you might say to yourself, what is Loot Crate? Uh, I've heard about Loot Crate, but I don't really understand too much about what, you know, how it works, uh, you know, why is Phil doing this, etc. Loot Crate is one of many, there's actually a bunch of these companies that have popped up over the past several years. Um, subscription based services where once a month they will send you a box completely random you don't know what's gonna be in the box you don't know what you're getting okay of pretty much randomized I, I, I guess you could call it collectibles but a lot of people would call it swag and what I mean by that is this is the kind of stuff that if you were to go attend Comic Con or another convention that you could pick up so we're talking stickers figurines t-shirts that kind of level of collectible okay and so, I decided to do it for a couple reasons. Number one, because it's a cool vlog. Unboxing something you don't know what's in it and kind of giving your comments about it is kind of an interesting concept. And number two, I am a fan of the, you know, sci-fi, comic book, video gaming, geeky style culture. And that is actually what Luke Cray focuses on. Now, there's other companies that focus more specifically on a certain genre. There's other companies that do it for not even that kind of stuff. But that's kind of what Luke Cray is. And Luke Cray has pretty much been the company that's gotten the most notoriety in the past couple of years. And that's why I went with them, okay? So how does it work? Well, it's a monthly service where you pay a monthly subscription fee and you get one box a month, okay? Now, prices vary depending on how long of a trial you pick. I picked the six-month trial, okay? But if you were to just do month-to-month, -month, which you can do, you pay monthly, I believe it's about $20 a month for the box. If you do a three-month trial, then it's only $15 a month. And then if you do the six-month, it's like $11 a month. So it's almost like a huge savings if you go for the longer version. And I said, well, I don't just want to do it once because what a lot of people say, is that with these services, in particular Loot Crate, you can have one month where it's amazing. Wow, I got a cool t-shirt and this cool collectible or this little electronic thing, and it's really nice. And then you might have another month where maybe it's not your forte. Maybe you don't like fantasy and you got a bunch of fantasy-related stuff. You're like, eh, well, this month wasn't so good, but maybe next month will be better. And I think that's kind of the appeal of these services. You don't know what you're getting. Similarly to how when you play those uh, little mobile games that are card games and stuff, right? And you say, oh, well, if you win the challenge, you get a new card, and you don't know what card you're going to get. It's kind of the same thing here. So this is my very first one. It's September of 2014. We're going to unbox this. We're going to see exactly what's inside. Because I did the six-month trial. We'll be doing this for six months. If I like it, I'll continue to do it. If we don't, after six months, I determine, eh, there's kind of a lot of stuff that I really didn't like, then I'll probably stop. And some people have already said, oh, Phil, we heard you were doing Loot Crate, but you've been saying that you have too much stuff from Connecticut that you don't want to give away. Why are you getting more? And it's very simple. Number one. Because it makes an interesting vlog video, right? Number two, because hey, if there's stuff that I really don't want or it's stuff that I feel like uh, you know has no use, I can give it away. Right? I do giveaways all the time. There's no reason to not do one. So there you have it. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's unbox our very first Loot Crate box here for September. So I'm going to take my knife here and cut through these sticker seals on the sides. There we go. The knife back. Open the box up. Actually, I'll pick up the camera for that. Whoa. Okay, I'm already <laughs> I'm already seeing some pretty weird stuff in here. So let's <laughs> Oh my god. Let's take a look at this. Science fiction vinyl figure. Mystery minis. So you don't even know what you're gonna get. Take a look at this. A science fiction vinyl figure. Okay. And apparently it's a wide variety of stuff. Look at that. You got aliens, which it seems to be the most common. Remember I said you don't know what you're gonna get? That's the thing about a lot of these things, it's randomized stuff too, so Alien, Metallic Alien, it looks like the robot from, uh, what was the name of that show, I can't really remember the name of it, Predator, E.T., Han Solo, I don't know who the hell that is, I have no clue, Robocop, Spock, a variant of Predator with blood on him, a transparent predator, a glowing version of so oh Tron, a glowing version of Tron. I see Judge Dredd. So oh, and that's uh, Rocketeers on here too. Holy shit! So it's pretty random. You don't know what you're gonna get, and some are more rare than others. I'll open that up. Why not? From Funko. The name of the company is Funko. So I'm opening it up now. All right, it's in some freaking plastic. Let me get the knife again. Yes, you really need to seal it in plastic. Well, I guess you do because it's, the gimmick is it's randomized and you don't know what you're getting. You don't want people to be peeking inside to see what you're getting, right? So it is sealed. Let's open this up. 
Well, I already destroyed the box, so I already depreciated the, any value that it could have had. Oh my god, and inside that, it's even in another bag. It's in a bag within a bag within a bag. Huh. Boxes and bags and all kinds of shit. Oh, great. We've got... Uh... This guy is not even on the list. <laughs> he's not. Uh... He's... There is a listing here of this character, but he's holding a single gun. I gotta show you this, this is weird, look. So, that's the figurine I got. I don't even know who that is. It's a guy holding a shotgun, okay? When you look at what he's supposed to have, he's supposed to have a single handgun, but he has a shotgun. <laughs> it figures, because I know about 90% of the characters on the back of this box, and I don't have a clue who this guy is, and I'm sure everyone watching this video is gonna say, Phil, you noob! Didn't you watch this particular sci-fi show, and you don't know who this guy is? How could you? You suck! Well, no, I don't know who he is. Maybe he's from Firefly. Watch, everyone's gonna say he is from Firefly now or something. I don't know, I never saw Firefly. Alright, what else do we got here? What the hell? Is this what I think it is? Oh my god. I know exactly what this is. It's a Tribble. It's a freaking Tribble. I knew it. Tribbles, it's hilarious. Let me tell you the story of the Tribble, because a lot of you might not know, okay? There's one episode of Star Trek. Now, I'm not talking The Next Generation, or Voyager, or Deep Space Nine. I'm talking the original series of Star Trek, okay? Which, actually, when Star Trek was on TV, a lot of people don't know this, it wasn't as popular as it became a cult hit later after it got canceled, all right? Now, of all the episodes of Star Trek, there was one episode that was so freaking campy and weird that it caught on with fans and uh, and basically became one of the biggest, most like, uh, what do they call that? Almost the cult following this episode. It was called The Trouble with Tribbles. And what the episode entailed was that basically they went to this the alien planet, you know, because that's what the original Star Trek series was. They were explorers. They were trying to document what was going on in the universe. And they found these weird furry creatures. They had no mouths. No asses, they just were big furry pulsating creatures. And they thought they were cute and they were like, oh, they're so cute for pets, you can have them and you know, they roll around. So they brought a few onto the Enterprise. Well, guess what? These Tribbles, or whatever they are, they found a way to somehow eat and reproduce and the entire Enterprise became overrun with these effing Tribbles. <laughs> so it's kind of like, almost like bugs or you know how they say they, uh, they multiply like rabbits? Kind of the same deal. That was the, the premise of the episode. So this is a replica Tribble from Star Trek, which is kind of wild that people still even remember the Tribbles, but I guess it has that much of a, you know, a following. Now, actually, this is interesting. It's a Loot Crate exclusive, meaning that Loot Crate is so popular that this company actually, uh, you know, teamed up with whoever manufactured these and made it just for Loot Crate. So you can't get that anywhere but Loot Crate. Okay, what else do we got in this box? There's a ton of stuff in here. We've got an alien action figure called Reaction Figures, okay? Now, you guys may not know this, but I do. No, it's not a magnet. I don't know what the hell this is. It looks like it would be a magnet, but it doesn't do anything. It feels heavy like a magnet, but it's not magnetic. I don't know, but anyway, it is Asteroids. If you guys ever saw the game Asteroids, but it's with Star Wars. You can see three Millennium Falcons. There's the worm coming out of this asteroid eating the Millennium Falcons and TIE Fighters. There's the Star Destroyer. So I don't know what this is supposed to be. It feels like a magnet, right? It looks like a magnet. But it's not a magnet. It doesn't stick. So I don't know. Maybe it's a failed magnet. Maybe it was supposed to be a magnet and it fu they fucked up. I don't know what the hell that is. Fall into savings. What the hell is this? Gamefly, two disc plan for one month free. Gunner, 25% off glasses. Squid grips for your gaming controllers. A deal on Origin, high performance PCs. And Astro, that's actually good. A 20% off coupon for Astro headphones, including A30s, A40s, and the wireless A50s. I have the A40s. 
20% off is a big ass freaking coupon uh, for Astro. That's really good. So basically, I guess every month when you get loot crate, you get discount codes if you want to buy this kind of stuff. Uh, in particular, I don't need any of that, so that's going to go unused this month. What is this? What the hell is this? What? Hold on, I'm gonna try to open this. It looks like it's supposed to be $10,000 of some kind of currency. But I don't know what the currency is. The unification... Unification... It doesn't say. It's 100, 100, 100, 100. Those are all $100. And these are $500. So I guess this is supposed to be a currency from something. Some sci-fi series. I don't have an effing clue what it's from. Maybe someone watching the video will recognize what this is. I don't have a clue what this is from. Here's the other one. And uh, quite honestly, I don't know what the hell I would ever use this for. So. Replica currency from an undisclosed sci-fi series. There you have it. I'm sure that's very, uh, very exciting. Looks like we got a couple codes. I'm gonna see if it's stuff that I want and possibly give the codes away in this video. Okay. Let's look here. I don't think I want this, so I'm gonna give this away right now, everyone. This is for Halo Escalation. Issues one through three, digital edition. So basically, Halo comic books. From the lead writer of Halo 4. Well, great, Halo 4's plot was terrible, so you should know these are gonna be great. Here's your code. It says go to digital.darkhorse.com forward slash halo and enter that code. And you can get those three comic books. Woohoo. Congratulations to whoever just got that. I sure don't want that. Okay. We've got a mini magazine. Galactic Loot Crate. Wow. I guess there was a Ninja Turtle month because it looks like everyone got Ninja Turtle glasses that they wear or... Uh, a brown coat's guide to Firefly. Well, now that it says Firefly, why do I get the feeling that this guy right here is that character right there? Eh, I might, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Again, I never watched Firefly. I don't know anything about it. A Death Star maze. Mega Crate. This month's Mega Crate features epic items from far reaches of space. So basically, once a month, someone wins a Mega Crate. So if you're a Loot Crate subscriber, you are automatically entered into the chance to win a $1,000 Mega Crate. So what would he get? This, the Borg Cube Fridge, which is worth $250. Bucks. The Star Wars Interactive R2-D2 Az Astromech Droid, which is worth $200. Bucks. A Replica Pistol from Serenity. Again, Firefly, $74. Bucks. Serenity, Little Damn Mecha Quantum Mechanics, I don't even know what that is. And then the under, oh, the GoPro Hero Black Edition $400 uh, crazy ca waterproof camera. Is that him? I don't know. It looks like it could be. The coat looks the same. I think it is. I think that's him. I never saw Serenity, I never saw Firefly, and apparently like it's like it got a cult following because it only had what, two, one or two seasons I think? And then the movie, Serenity. Alright, here you go. Now they're explaining what the stuff is that you got. There's your your triple, there's your alien randomized action figure. Oh, okay. Firefly Vinyl Mal exclusive action figure. We've done the impossible. So this, all right, this makes sense then. This is an exclusive figure. The box even shows it. It's an exclusive figure. It's not randomized. The regular Mal figure would have the handgun. This is an exclusive Loot Crate version that has a shotgun. And yes, he's from Firefly. Oh, by the way, the currency was also from Firefly. So this box of Loot Crate had an insane amount of Firefly related stuff in it, which I don't know any of it because I never saw Firefly. Okay then, uh, there's a poster which I didn't open yet and it kind of spoils it on this page. So let's actually get this poster out. This is the last thing in this loot crate. I can't get it out. A Han Solo in Carbonite poster. 
<laughs> How timely, because as you know, everyone's currently talking about the hot topic, Han Solo and Carbonite. <laughs> Alright, so I'm being kind of cynical, but I mean, it's cool if you're a fan of Star Wars, that might be something that you like, right? Uh, your Pop Rocks candy that has nothing whatsoever to do with sci-fi, I don't know why that's even in there. There's your digital loot, the three uh, issues of Halo. And that's the end of the magazine. So, this is what you get. Here, I'm going to step back for a minute here to show you all this stuff. This is the stuff that you get in Loot Crate. And that's one month's example. That's my first month. So let me, let me put this in perspective for you. If you're a huge fan of sci-fi, you probably loved this month's Loot Crate. You probably thought, wow, Tribble is neat, an alien action figure. Maybe you're into Halo, you want to read those comics. Uh, for me in particular, this 20% off code is nuts because the Astro A40s cost like 200 bucks. 20% off, so you're telling me I'm going to save 30, 40 bucks off the price of headphones? That's a huge thing, and if, especially if you're interested in any of the products here, these discount codes could be pretty freaking valuable, right? So I'm actually surprised that that's in there, but at the same time, there's so many people who get Loot Crate and who probably film this, like, look. Where's the code? I'm trying to show you the code here. Oh, there's a special link to go to there for it. I don't know where the code is. Details in the Google description will be included in your unique code. Where's the code? I don't know, there's your code for, for the Astro. It's Gen 1. So if you want to get 20% off Astro products, go order them now and put in Gen 1. You know, this really, I can't see how anyone could say that this is part of the Loot Crate because there's so many people who get Loot Crate who probably fill these codes. How can you say that you need to get Loot Crate in order to, to get it? I don't get it. Um, I don't understand this at all. Again, it looks and feels like a magnet and it's not. It doesn't, it's not magnetic and there's nothing to peel off. So if this was supposed to be a magnet, it's an epic fail. It doesn't magnetize at all. But again, if you're a fan of sci-fi, oh, this is cool. Han Solo, you know, uh... The, the, the supposed magnet with the Millennium Falcon. I love Alien. Here's a cool replica Alien action figure throwback from the 80s. A triple from Star Trek. And, you know, Firefly in particular. If you're a fan of Firefly, this month alone, you got Firefly replica currency and a, an exclusive figure from Firefly. You probably love this stuff. For the common person, they're probably going to say, I don't know what half this is. <laughs> but then again, the common person probably isn't the kind of person who would spend 10 to $20 a month to get Loot Crate, okay? So, my verdict on the first month, kind of middle of the row, because I do in particular like the triple. I think that's a cool collectible. Um, the alien figure's all right, and uh, like I said, if I were to be buying Astro headphones right now, that code would be excellent. The other stuff's kind of lame, a non-functional magnet, uh, codes to a comic book that probably no one wants to read. That's kind of lame, and for me, this is kind of a bummer for me this month, because F Firefly I never saw, so I don't even know what those things are. Um, and let's face it, these Pop Rocks, let's put them where they belong, in the fucking trash. Not, it should not even be in here, it's just a lame thing. There is some cool design, look at this, some design to the box, if you take a look. It looks like a hangar bay, almost like you're going inside of a starship, and inside you can actually see a little droid. So it kind of is like a, a cool sci-fi design to the box. It's not like it's, it's not like this is a box they throw random shit in. You could tell, you know, attention went to it. The fact that they made a custom button for this month, that's cool. But, again, is this going to be something that you like? I don't know. It depends on you. So that's for September. We're going to be doing it for the next five months as well. I'm sure every month will be something completely different. That's my first Loot Crate unboxing. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you next time. It's a guy holding a shotgun, okay? When you look at what he's supposed to have, he's supposed to have a single handgun, but he has a shotgun. Where's the shotgun? Wait a minute. Where's the shotgun?